Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Existence Podcast number 23 and yes I checked that before we started recording this time. (laughs) Today we are joined by a couple of special guests and a couple of returning members and a couple of returning podcast hosts uh, in that matter. We've got myself, Big Peach Pies, Sandman, Brayden, Vanilla Raccoon and returning guests we have Sugar Caney and Duo, also known as Duo Good Rex. Welcome everyone and welcome back. Good morning. Duo. Good morning. Oh, good evening. I don't know why I said morning. It's four morning. o'clock right in, in the afternoon. It's oh, ten it's... o'clock, but that doesn't matter. Good morning to you. It, it's morning somewhere, so. <laughs> look, look, it's the morning point here. is, I've got a nice we jumble made... of time Okay, good morning to you, Peach. Good afternoon, everybody yeah. else. <laughs> <laughs> and good evening, Sugar Caney. Yes, let's track. Good evening, <laughs> And you as well. I'm not the only one. Um, yeah. But needless to say, we all may be spread out throughout the world, but at the end of the day, it's the same moment for us. Yes. Yes. It is 8 p.m. <laughs> UTC. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, dear. Yeah, I've got a, not, I had a very nice case of morning voice. I'm trying to speak a little bit more hush so I don't wake up my flatmates, but I'm pretty sure I already have. Um, because my alarm kept going off when I didn't want it to, and it made a very loud noise. Excellent work. Mm. I approve. Yeah, but um, I was in that last podcast, and it was a bit of a quiet one too, in terms of amount of people. I think it was just Vanilla, Sandman, and Mundy. No yes. speech. Yes. That's like fifty percent less speech. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, um, so I think. I think the previous podcast went pretty well, and as my first time hosting it, I hope I did a good job. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, but Ooh, no, it's good glad to, be to know. It was. It's been a crazy. Um, wait, what are we in now? July. Well, this month's been crazy, but last month was just as crazy. Um, oh, it's August. Gosh, yeah, let's it is just say August. this whole year has been crazy. True, but. Specifically, <laughs> this month <laughs> being yeah. the July podcast. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear, because like I had my um <clears throat> my holidays was a three week holiday because it's kind of end of semester and such, but it mm-hmm. honestly just disappeared so quickly. And then last month was just a chaos of schoolwork and madness. But um, yeah, finally kind of getting things settled and actually getting more of a stable <laughs> lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great going. to hear. I mean, your life was pretty much turmoil a few years ago. Mm, I mean, it's always been an absolute chaotic mess, but I'm finally trying to actually get a balance going between everything because it kind of didn't for a while. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, on summer break now, but we got this huge computer science uh, write up to do. I'm. I honestly thought you were going to complain about the weather again. Uh, no, no, that's uh, an hour in. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I've been like finding it hard to rest because I constantly think about what I have to do, and there's so much. It's crazy. Mm, and plus, what you're having like a heat wave as well. Uh, we did. It's now gone. It mm-hmm. was 37 the other day here, and 42 oh in the Netherlands. Yes, it was. We actually had two days of 41, 42 degrees Celsius. And that's like the highest temperature it has been ever, ever since we started measuring the temperature here. So (laughs) it's like almost in a century. It's it's the hottest. So wait, roughly, uh, what is that in Fahrenheit? Oh, it's like, I think it was around around 100. Okay. I will convert it for you. 510. Okay, because I was going to say, like, uh, oh last week, it was 107.6. Holy oh, tomato. Yeah. I was about to say, last week, it was, like, at least 93 degrees Fahrenheit, but with the humidity, it felt like 107, but, oh, my Ugh. God. Yuck. Yeah, Needless to say, it was a good week to just stay inside and watch The Office. <laughs> well, the, the funny thing is, is now we have some uh, some... Some lightning, and uh, we had some rainstorms here. Not rainstorms, we had rain here. And now, next week, it will be like 20 degrees Celsius. Like, it drops 20 degrees in like a few days. Oh, wow. It's absolutely insane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened over here in uh, the Midwest, over here in the States. It got up to about 90 degrees or so, and then it just dropped down to 70. <laughs> See, here it's just been, you know, and a Fahrenheit. casual. I think 
this morning You've got it's like winter. seven degrees. Yeah. Haven't you? I'm like overnight jealous. it gets down to like three ish. And that's still pretty warm. <laughs> for like warm. winter standards here. It's meant to get a well, it's apparently meant to get colder. <clears throat> it has on other days, but like it's funny how it kinda hasn't. Like it's been kinda mild so far, and that is concerning considering Yes global aspects but um this isn't the global climate change podcast so we'll not get Ooh. dwelled on do you on want that. it to be i was about to say can we make it that oh it's gosh, pretty important be... <laughs> it is important it's very important but that's i don't want also... my country to be flooded yes because oh. the netherlands is mostly below sea level <laughs> oh yes at least uh, at least where the majority of the people live oh dear so exactly what are we going to be discussing then if we're not going to be discussing the weather well, I was interested in talking Minecraft. about it a little bit. Well, <laughs> <laughs> specifically Minecraft Earth, I wanted to briefly kind of touch on, which could easily turn into like a majority thing. But um, I myself am very excited for it. And Vanilla, you have had hands-on experience with it, as I think we talked about in the one where we kind of tried to use you as clickbait. The truth about Minecraft 1.14. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so uh, yes, I have had hands-on experience, asterisk, we'll say. Um, okay, back I'm when I visited... Before you start, I'm going to give you a challenge. You're not allowed uh, to tell a single story. Um, oh. oh, Let me phrase. No, no, you are. <laughs> you can't mention the term NDA in oh. any of your stories. Do you think you can handle okay. it? Okay, I can. I'm. A, I love a good challenge. You just okay. broke him. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. So, um, back in May of the, the of the current year, 2017, year of the pig, 2019. Uh, that's my line. Don't take it. Um, I visited the uh, Mo Yang <laughs> office over in Redmond, which is kind of outside of Seattle, and. Uh, Yes, I got to play it. Um, long story short, after I was done hosting the official Minecraft live stream, one of the developers for Minecraft Earth walked up to me and he was like, have you played it yet? I'm like, uh, no. And he just handed me his phone. And I'm like, oh, now I understand why I had to sign certain documentations. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and so <laughs> at first I played it on a tabletop. Or the top of the table, whatever you want to call it, however it's worded. And then he's like, you want to go bigger? <laughs> and I'm like, um, sure. And he just said, all right, let's go out into the parking lot. And I'm just like, oh, okay. So we're just mm. chilling out in the parking lot. Eventually, I make my way into the middle of the street. And he was like, yeah, this is the one thing we're going to have to make sure people don't do is playing in the middle of the street. I'm like, going to say. <laughs> just standing was that there. natural yeah. selection again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't yeah. have to play in the street. Yeah. Oh so anyways, I got to play it then. Um, as we all know, at the time of this recording, at least, it's available in four different places. We have uh, Seattle, obviously, Stockholm, Sweden. We have Tokyo, Japan, and then London. Yeah, that's the place. Uh, but that's not to say that certain people have exclusive access to the developer version. Um and this is public knowledge, like some of the YouTubers out there, for yeah, example, the Tyler Scars. Like, yeah, I've seen, and um, Seth Bling. Seth Bling and I think Mumbo Jumbo, is it? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's certain fair, people have exclusive world. access, but uh, they're not the only ones who have exclusive access. <clears throat> is this when you say that you have exclusive access? Sorry, I was drinking my water. What was that? <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> yes, vanilla does have exclusive access. Yeah, that's that's uh, yeah. That is speculation. Can you, I think it's true? Surely, um, must have played. You that, make yeah. some let's play videos on it. Upon the recording of this video now. I'm, I don't mean you have, I mean you do. <laughs> well, I mean, okay, I, I do Minecraft Let's Plays and other stuff, but... Uh... No, not necessarily, like, let's, I think it'd be cool, like, I, I've been thinking about, you know, you know, in the dream world where I get access to the beta, um, I would absolutely love to, like, do just a walk around the city just playing it, especially, like, with some of my um, school friends. 
because um, mm-hmm. obviously we are all doing a digital media course <coughs> that involves like video making and documenting and all that kind of stuff so it'd be like a really fun activity as well just to kind of do like a real life video walking around the city with like film equipment and stuff because that would be awesome and like having everything mic'd up and like having lav mics and cameras and oh it'd be awesome but that's a dream so, of that i live in <laughs> so like when we first talked about uh minecraft earth and everything and you guys are trying to get the details out of me and i had to be hush hush <laughs> um I did mention that, like, you know, I play Pokemon Go. And mm. when this game officially comes out, RIP Pokemon Go. Uh, <laughs> I feel like it's still going to have a huge audience, Pokemon Go. But as you know, like, I uh, from t- oh, I used to produce what I would call Pokemon Go short films. And the long story mm. short about those are, uh, as I continue to do the whole YouTube thing and meet new people from all over the world and talk to them about, like, different parts of my region or my small corner of the world, as I put it, they would be like, oh, I'd love to see it and everything. And of course, I would take pictures and send it to them. But eventually, I started to use the power of augmented reality to show, like, here's a park. But if you look closely, there's a Pokemon. So one Just thing that the I... the premise of Pokemon Go. Yeah, pretty much. Um, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but I actually... But, inst- but instead of doing vlogs, I made little short films and everything, showcasing my stuff. Uh, but with that being said, I have been brainstorming certain ideas that are loosely based off of that using this, uh, again, using the power of augmented reality with Minecraft Earth. So I'm really excited to start production on that. Literally what I implied, but I'm glad that you answered the <laughs> <my> question. <laughs> but like one thing I, <clears throat> sorry, the one thing I wanted to do was like uh showcase not only different parts of my city but also try and like say for example if i visited the liberty bell in minecraft earth i would try and make the liberty bell and be like here's the real deal but then here's like you know the blocky version of it yeah Uh, i think that's one of the cool things is just being able to go to places and like build things because i remember um what was his name i can't think what his name was he built like disneyland multiple times i think he was on like an episode of um for any of the those that you ah, let me start that whole sentence again for any of you that know there's a youtube channel called binging with babish and does like cooking and makes things from tv shows and stuff um but he has another series called being with babish i think it was where they kind of just go and surprise like people in need who you know helped him out and there was one guy i think it was ant venom actually anonymously um nominated him and he basically runs like a whole community and they like build disneyland in minecraft and I think doing something like that, because he would go to Disneyland with his laptop and build, like, in person and build while in the environment. And I think doing something, like, with Minecon... Uh, I keep saying Minecon Earth. With Minecraft <laughs> Earth, <laughs> being able to actually do that, like, I think would absolutely be awesome. My only concern is um, phone power and battery consumption. So it does actually like make your phone a little bit warm, shall we say? And it also <laughs> does drain your battery quite a lot. Yeah, because it's using both the camera and very, I would imagine, intensive GPU and CPU mm-hmm. aspects, um, like mm-hmm. even more so than like if you took Minecraft Pocket Edition, rest in peace now, Minecraft Bedrock Edition, combine that with Snapchat, you know, two of the biggest battery consumption apps you could probably have on your phone bring them together in holy matrimony (laughs) and you've got (laughs) minecraft earth (laughs) oh gosh i'm so glad i don't have snapchat on my phone anymore that's a unrelated point i just recently put that back on my phone and i don't know why (laughs) because you hate your battery life (laughs) sure (laughs) it's so stupid (laughs) Oh, I say I that as I... it's plugged into a portable charger, by the way. Oh dear, that's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, oh, um, so I guess since we got the whole Minecraft Earth out of our system, unless anyone else has any thoughts and opinions they want to share, uh, speak now forever, hold your peace. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, go ahead. There's this whole thing where I, like, I thought it was, up until, like, a couple of weeks ago, I thought it was just like a, a cool looking gimmick that was gonna die out within like a few months like pokemon go um 
I know people still play it, but not nearly as much as before. No, it was huge but then when I it came saw out. But... What people could actually do in it, and I was like, "Whoa, okay, yeah, this could actually be awesome." And I think a lot of that comes from like when I was watching like Seth Bling, like he's done all his roots and stuff. I think people forget that it does run like it is actually Minecraft, and it runs off like the Bedrock engine. So literally mm-hmm. anything you can. Well, I think they're still adding. Like they're not quite everything's added yet, but um essentially you can do basically everything you can do in the actual game in augmented reality (laughs) with other people with these giant like build plates and stuff and i think that's just because you build in miniature and then you can expand that to like a, a almost like a demo or showcase kind of zone from what i've seen and then like actually walk around it i think that is kind of one of the i think the coolest thing like because obviously you can build with other people and stuff but then to like expand that and actually go into that like on a a real scale yeah that would be quite insane Mm. kaney i'm interested on your perspective from a programmer and also minecraft player (laughs) programmer i'm I'm almost a bachelor in computer science that's a bit (laughs) but I don't. I'm, was that a? I don't know. Sorry, I don't Honestly. mean no offense. <laughs> oh yes, I am offended. Don't you worry. Oh, but no. <laughs> I'm. I'm just curious, actually, what it does. I think it's. It's obvious that it's in its early stages, and yeah, it just. I'm just curious what happens with the community. I mean, if you look at Minecraft, like how many years back, um, in the old alpha versions, it wasn't really that much. It was basically nothing, but people made it something great. Mm. So I'm curious. Um, I'm still. I would a bit... imagine it's mm. it's probably going to take a lot of people, like Duo was saying, with, with like people who, you know, have been playing Pokemon Go a lot of the time. Because I think there's definitely, in terms of like nerdiness and geekiness, there's probably a correlation between kind of Pokemon people and Minecraft people. Um, I could very well be. <laughs> <laughs> so I wouldn't be surprised I would if. Kinda, out. I mean, definitely from like my perspective as someone who basically plays no other games but minecraft and doesn't really play any mobile games either because i know mobile games are actually like a big thing now apparently <laughs> so yes, I, but I like not everybody has a smartphone that is uh, that has Capable? the performance to yeah. actually get, run it i mean i've got a nexus 5x so that's a little bit older right now it's two years old but mm. it's cannot run serious games anymore yeah like and i've got a um samsung s7 edge and that is a 2000 and 15 phone i may be wrong maybe 16 um but anyway the phone i have is second hand and it's three years old but like yeah. always Are you, i already can i'll <laughs> notice it with the pokemon go uh, augmented reality it is really it is slower i cannot mm. even play fruit ninja anymore oh really i forgot all about oh that God. game <laughs> oh it's fantastic i still love it to bits <clears throat> it's a bit commercialized but it is still fun I mean, it's still playable without all the commercial stuff. I yes. enjoyed it when it when I first started playing it. The best way to play those games is without internet access. That way you don't get ads. Oh, yeah, that's a very good oh, one. That's, that's what I used to do at lunchtime when I play, like, I have, like, an, I think it's called Aquavius. It's, it's essentially just pipes, you know, where you turn all the different channels and stuff. But at lunchtime, if I started playing that, I'd turn all my Wi-Fi and stuff off and just play the game without pop-ups. <laughs> I hope Vanilla, please tell yeah, me but- for for the love of God, Minecraft Earth is not going to have ads. And no response. <laughs> I, um- well, actually, here here's another question that I'm hoping you can answer. I'm not sure if you'll be able to. Will you? Is it a purchase game? I assume it will be. Or it is a free to play. That's like if, if it is you already have play, Minecraft, you need a business model. It is a free to download game. The only, as far as I'm aware of, uh, I, well, as far as I know of, the only actual microtransactions, as you know at least, is oh. going to be uh, the purchase of skins or whatever. No, because, I knew like you were going to say that and I forgot about it. Because like you mentioned a few times now, it does run on the Bedrock, Bedrock engine or yeah. server or whatever. <clears throat> so essentially though, whatever skins you have, via bedrock will be mm. able to be transported over to that oh, so basically one purchase on multiple uh platforms yeah mm-hmm. which is yeah. i think is cool so like you know if, it's you, reasonable. If, you, if you do all that bedrock stuff that's awesome 
But for us, and I'm speaking on behalf now because this is from my perspective, but for us Java edition players, or let alone primarily uh, oh, Java edition players. so elite. <laughs> no, it just, I think the one thing that shouldn't be like pay to win, even though it's not pay to win, pay to play, is skins because i think that is ever since they added like custom skins that's like being you know that's your essence that's your personality that is kind of who you are is your skin and i i hate the you fact still, that uh, import uh like custom skins right no because you could do that on bedrock i oh, think dear. can you i'm pretty sure you can well you i i can i thought you had to up. buy all your skin packs and stuff like that like you, you just had a default them, but... one I I'm pretty win. sure you could still import them. Maybe I not on console. I can actually remember but, but. having my own skin on Bedrock Edition. Does anyone here actually play Bedrock? <laughs> I, I have it installed, it, so I, I can just Steve. check. Yeah, I remember now. You can't, because I played a bit on Windows 10, and I remember importing my own skin. Can oh. you, Nilla, do, do you know you if you have... can do this in Minecraft Earth? Well, I assume... If you can in Bedrock, then you can in, well, vice versa. I mean, it's the same thing, but different. I oh. think it is... Uh, yeah, I can select it. Ooh. I think it is something um, that is in the works, or at least it's something that's been thought of. Yeah, because to me, that's, that's just, like, really sad. <laughs> it's getting um, huge parts. It has yeah, always been. As Kaney's just posted in, in, a, in the Discord chat, there is the Alex skin, the Steve skin, and, and Kaney's skin. Yeah, I've uploaded it. I think, I, I think it's connected to my Mojang account anyway, and I've already uploaded my skin, so it would be obvious mm. that... See, the problem is I don't have any, any... Literally, I have no way of trying this, because I don't have Pocket Edition. I'm on a Mac. Oh, yeah, you have a Mac. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have an Xbox. I, I literally have no access to Bedrock Edition unless I buy Windows. Pocket Edition, which is Bedrock Edition, but you know what I mean, on my phone or on my, mm -hmm. God forbid, iPad Mini 2, which is no longer supported by Apple as of iOS 13. Thoughts and prayers. Um, yeah. Hmm. Okay. I'm, I, I'm now... I, do have, I do have a question here real quick. Or is, it's more of just, yeah. Um... So Minecraft Earth being augmented reality, why would you need unless it, unless if this is something with the UI, why would you need your Minecraft skin if um, it's augmented multiplayer. reality? Yeah, uh, you can <laughs> see other players' skins where the so you'll actually probably. see player models placing blocks down. Yeah, and so you can. Um, well, for starters, yeah. I'm pretty sure like there's like um, maps and charts and friends and stuff right. like that. But then, obviously, with the aspect of friends, I'm pretty sure you can do like server kind of aspects. Well, I know you can, right. but um, you can basically invite people to your build plate or area or whatever, and build together, that and you can see the play models. Pretty heavy on your internet connection. Your yeah. right. It just it well, seems really weird though, doing that. It's yeah. I, it I, still I, feels I like a gimmick or a and prototype. I, well, I mean, it heavily is a prototype, I guess, and. A, it's just, you know, like it's another proto thing. prototype. <laughs> it's just another Minecraft, um, what's the term? Thing. It's Gimmick. a proper term that I can't think of. Um, um but I, th I think it's kind of nifty okay. and it's pretty cool and it's definitely mm -hmm. would be interesting to play. Like, <clears throat> and I like the idea of, you know, being able to go somewhere you know with with something to do and and um it gives me but another actually, way we'll... like i have reasons to go out don't get me wrong <laughs> but it's like <laughs> I, can, I can go somewhere and play minecraft earth as well as you know it encourages me more to go outside and say like take photos and do photography and stuff it gives me another thing or another reason to kind of go do that and that's kind of what i think i really like because i've never like i never got into pokemon let alone pokemon go and i think this kind of for me personally, gives me like something like that, something that I will enjoy. But I yeah. do agree, it is very gimmicky. <laughs> but when has yeah, Minecraft like, not so been gimmicky Pokemon since Go Microsoft was took over? In that way, it really mm. made people walk outside. It like the release weeks were like crazy here. Everyone mm. was walking, and everyone knew what was happening because like everyone knew it from the news. 
But like, are you really going outside to play Minecraft? Yeah, I uh, think it's more going to be like I'm going to go out with other people, probably. Oh it's yeah, more gonna that, be that'd what be great, actually. Yeah, because I, I think, think like, that's yeah, more I mean, than niche. because literally you you have your build plate saved. I think going out somewhere to meet other people and like hang out and play it together, I think is probably going to be the most utilized aspect of it. And yeah. another side effect is that it would promote active lifestyles for people who might not previously have them mm. like me so <laughs> so i know some people from my uh one local pokemon go community where uh some people would like have social anxiety if that's mm. yeah social anxiety is the way to mm. put it but because of pokemon go like not only were they mm. able to like not only did they, did they, did, uh, did they feel encouraged to quote unquote get up and go but it helped them like overcome intended yep exactly uh (laughs) that's my that's another one of my lines actually with my pokemon go short films don't take that people um (laughs) anyways no but so like these people over time started to overcome their social anxiety and now kind of like me but not on my level they're sort of a uh extrovert of sorts Mm. Like, they're not afraid to walk up to people and say hi now or whatever. It's just like, I like he's yo, what's on up? My level. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're probably well, the most extroverted person I've met, and that's coming from someone who's generally quite introverted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, it, it is, yes. There's a gem in this community. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm not afraid. I mean, look at my Twitter. Look at how many yes, people Yes, my Twitter feed has to. never been as lively as it was a little while back. <laughs> No, but I mean, like, if you look at my Twitter and you see at my uh, uh, responses and reaching out to people, like, I've never mm-hmm. done anything like that yeah, before. Yeah, no, you're, you're definitely but- not one to shy away from from speaking your mind. And that's what Twitter's for. Um, Something I am actually wondering, um, does it make you, doesn't it make you tired in some way? Doesn't it exhaust you to be always online, always reacting? No. Mm. I have this uh, definitely a personality I an, trait. I think I have an unusual ability to build up energy and then maintain it and not let it decrease. Mm. And mm. I, I, I feel uh, vanilla, if you don't mind me saying this, from our recent DMs, you said, mentioned like you know being involved in all this kind of YouTube and community <laughs> stuff. It's kind of you know it keeps you going and it's it's part of your lifestyle. Yes, and yeah. that's the one thing I actually, uh, quite recently I had a conversation because uh, I went out with some childhood mates of mine and we were all catching up. And these are people who are like, you know, have a typical job, construction worker, working in retail, whatever. And then you have me who is the Batman of food by day. And your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man left driver at night. Uh, <laughs> but no, like they, they uh, when we were talking, they were like, so tell us what's going on with YouTube these days. And I'm like, what do you mean? Or just like, well, obviously, you know, ever since you started up five years ago, you've gained a mo- monumental amount of success to a certain degree. Uh, <laughs> and, and, you know, I try to say that as humbly as I can. I don't claim to be some big shot, whatever. I'm nothing special. <laughs> But, like, they just asked me, like, okay, so if you do this and you do that, this and that, this and that, how are you, like, not tired of it? I'm just, like, because mm. it's, it's part of something that makes me happy. And it's not just a, like, nine to five job or whatever. It's a 24-7 lifestyle type of thing. And, sure, I may mm-hmm. go periods where I take a break from just being online or whatever. But that's just because I'm trying to also enjoy life. Yeah. And that's fair. Like, Still, it's really respectable. I, I think what you do. I'm, I, I mean, no offense when saying this, but obviously, like your channel, relatively speaking, compared to other, like, say, for example, Waddles, we love Waddles and his memeiness, but like his channel exploded and gets crazy views and crazy subscribers and stuff. And obviously, you had some growth, and your channel's bigger than most other ones, but like, you know, it's still on the scale, I yeah. guess, of a smaller channel. Yeah, and that's why I say, like, I humbly say all this, and I claim to be no one or whatever, because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, I'm just like everyone else. Like, we all start somewhere. Sure, we it's not a race. It's a matter of, like, people grow at different rates. 
Mm. Like, it's like it's like a maturity almost. Some people just become more mature quicker than others. But at the end of the day, it's not like, oh, I'm better than you or I'm better than that person. It's mm. just like that's how the court went. Yeah, because I know a lot of people, and I don't know if um you wanted to say anything here, Sandman, about like you know subscribers and growth and views and all that stuff. Um, because <laughs> definitely like. I've always said, you know, I'm only doing this for fun. And literally, like, I think the whole reason I actually started doing this, and I've said this in, like, my very one of my first episodes and I think on my first, like, Twitter post, was literally just to make videos with friends. Right. Um, Duo mm-hmm. just posted right. a great meme from Guardians of the Galaxy 2. <laughs> and I quote, what you guys I, too, laughing. am extremely humble. <laughs> Good old Drax from Guardians. Anyways, I'm yeah. Pull so, a marker and put that in the podcast for anyone who's interested. <laughs> yeah. No, but uh, I know, like, like sort of the piggyback off of what you're talking about, Peach. Uh, you know, Sam and like, you know, we've, uh, you know, obviously talked, you know, both in the existence Discord and in the DMs about like our perspectives and and uh, interpretations on growth and everything. And at the end of the day. Uh, you know, I've always said at least like, look, this is my way of artistically expressing myself. It's what I know how to do best and I love it and I enjoy it. And I think for those who go out and want to do YouTube to become rich and famous or anything like that, like obviously, you know, those are uh, not the correct reason, shall we say, to do it. But at the same time, like, you know, growth happens it's naturally. It's the incorrect reason, though. I mean, it's how I, I say started. it is. But I, just, I, I would, don't I would, necessarily think it is an invalid reason to do it if that's something that drives you. Yeah, no, it's a it's a valid reason to to do this as a full time job. You know, it's it's perfectly valid to be successful. You know, and I've been learning that success really in YouTube is more on what you think it is rather exactly. than just this um, yeah. set in stone value. Mm-hmm. It's definitely a um, perspective me, kind of aspect to it. Yeah. For me, I'm pretty competitive. So I see a lot of, you know, for, you know, knowing economics and kind of applying that, you know, markets and everything to YouTube. I see competitors like you guys and which you guys aren't, but it, it makes me want to get better. 1v1 because me I see you guys. What? 1v1 me. <laughs> Meet me on the high pixel you server. Get on the server. Let's go. One v one. But no, I I just strive to be you know better than what I am, and if I don't see any growth, you know, then to me it doesn't seem like I'm getting better, and it's 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 frustrating. It's it's the competitive mm-hmm. side of me that wants mm-hmm. to be better. But yeah, you know, I'm fair. just doing this just for fun. This is you know I I know this is not going to be a full time job for me. I already have a full time job. I'm I'm set. You know, this is just <laughs> a hobby. But, you know, I want to see growth. Mm. And I, I want mean, to, there's definitely, you know, like, better. there's definitely um, reward, I guess, in, you know, receiving, um, you know, yeah. views and gaining subscribers right. and stuff. There's definitely reward for, for all the work that we all have to put into kind of this stuff. Exactly. There definitely and, is. And it, it feels good to have that kind of reassurance valid. that you're doing a good job. Or, or, right. You know, and that's, 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 that's kind of like, my mindset. That's kind of my mindset because when I put in all this work and effort into um, these videos and get nothing out of it, it it's it's discouraging, mm. you know. It's and, good to have that validation is the word I think I'm thinking of. Yeah, and I have that mindset where if I'm not getting anything out of it, why do it? I'm just wasting my time at this point. So if I'm not growing at all and putting in all these, you know, these hours into making these videos, mm. then what's the point, you know? Um, yeah, that's fair because I, I still like doing it. I still like playing the game. I still like making content. But if no one's going to watch it, why put it on YouTube? And that's fair. Like, yeah, um, it's definitely yeah, that, like if you're going to upload mindset. something and nobody's going to watch it, then like, why are you doing, doing it? is wasting my time. Mm. Like I, 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 I had a similar kind of but different aspect or point of view when I did like my portal series, um, like. I knew that those got less views than like all my other content, but to be honest, I just wanted to play portal and I wanted to record it. And, you know, it did get, yeah. you know, it got kind of a, a much smaller audience, but the audience that it did get, they were kind of, I guess being sub loyal, like 
to my channel like obviously they're loyal to my content in terms of they watch my content already but then even a smaller group of my general subscribers you know enjoyed my portal series and that was that was more than enough for me you know just knowing that there is those few people who want to watch me play portal they yeah. they watch you for you if they watch everything on your channel yeah even if and they even don't then, play like, portal if some people don't watch that series and only watch my other stuff that's still fine right it doesn't and even right. like i'm pretty sure there's some people who have been more active in commenting or mentioning or talking about my portal stuff than they ever have been with any of my other stuff and again that's that's fine you know i've the only reason like existence exists <laughs> is because of community because of the people i know and but like literally i've told the story before but the only reason existence exists is because one day got old red smoke mr r3 smoke who R3. i think his channel's name <laughs> His channel's now called Cheap as Chips, <laughs> which is real funny. Oh my God. But um, he literally messaged me one day on Skype, of all things, and said... Good old Skype. He said um, something along the lines of, do you want to make a Minecraft series together? And I said, why don't we start a server? And, you know, over three years later, here we are. <laughs> you know, uh, I don't think I've evolution. ever... I don't think I've ever heard that story before. Go back and watch, I think it's my one year anniversary, question mark, question mark, mm -hmm. duo and Katie. Or just go a few <laughs> podcasts back, I think we had discussed it earlier. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a decently told story, but it's always good to bring it up every now and again, because like you said, some people mm -hmm. haven't heard it, but um, I if you really want to know the history of existence, out, so. go back and watch. I'm pretty sure I think my one year anniversary video was kind of the main oh. one, and then I think it was the second year... Uh, I did more a um. I honestly can't remember what did I do for the second year. I have to go back and watch, but definitely the the I, one year is a good one. I will say this, even though like if I upload a Minecraft video, a let's play tutorial, whatever, uh, let's build, whatever you want to call them, um, you know those get about maybe we'll say roughly thirty to forty views, if that. Hmm. But oddly enough, my non Minecraft content that i've discontinued for like well over a year now for example my halo 5 guardian stuff uh my titanfall 2 stuff and especially my doom 2016 campaign walkthrough those series still get way more views daily than my minecraft stuff do and mm. they get more comments and uh and it's, it's it's one of those things that's weird but at the same time it's satisfying because even though i don't produce that content anymore mm. it's like it's still just like hey someone watched it they thought to give it a like or a dislike or whatever the case may be uh thank you for the view um <laughs> and we're also like either kind or rude enough to drop a comment just saying like hey i thought this was cool or hey i thought this could be better and it's just one of those things where it's like sure it may not my Minecraft content may not get the, the type of views that I would like it to get, but at the end of the day, I put it out there, and that's all that makes me happy. Everything yeah. else is just a perk. Yeah, so for my channel, I haven't really noticed any kind of like, well, I've noticed some huge view discrepancies. Like ever since the channel shifted direction, like my channel's gotten uh fairly bigger and i've had some some things blow up but it's mostly those flukes that are getting me bigger rather than to be fair do how many times have you changed your channel direction to be honest, <laughs> I, I don't even call it any direction anymore i just post what i want to and that's i think that's the way to do it just do what you want like mm -hmm. and like if you want to do you know if you see your content specific content getting more views and you enjoyed making that and you want to make that more so than other things that is the best way i think was it someone was talking to someone else in the community server about like doing it or being humorous or comedic or something i can't remember oh who it was. that was me and uh the guy with with the name beginning with v vanish oh vanish who used to be van who mm. was going to be an existence member a long time ago <laughs> oh it yeah it wasn't a podcast yeah just there can yeah, only be one way. van here. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, I think it was you two were saying something along the lines of like, if you're not, <laughs> if you're not actually, you know, a comedic person in your content, then it's not going to be funny. But like, if you're naturally, you've know, got that humor level and your commentary, comedic 
aspect to it then it's going to make good content and i think the same thing comes for you know if you're um motivated and enjoy what you're making no matter what it is it's going to be better content regardless yes definitely this it, reminds it feels me less of a... like a corporate product mm-hmm. and something that you wanted to make out of passion mm. I was just about to say the same thing because I remember having this type of conversation quite a few times actually with uh, Zloy XP, um, mm. who uh, he and I are friends and everything. But it's like you know he's doing I a hermit crab recap. And <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, <laughs> no, because one time like he and I were talking about like what is it about returning viewers that makes them want to return. We just pretty much came to the conclusion that it's the personality. Sure, it may be the content because they enjoy it. But at mm. the end of the day, it's the content creator slash broadcaster that they're coming back for. Yeah, and uh, one, thing he, one thing he pointed out to me was, uh, with my content at least, it's very chill, if you want to put it that way. And mm. that's because naturally I'm a chill person. Uh, I too am extremely least. humble. <laughs> is that gonna be is that gonna be the title of this, uh for this i would love podcast? it to be that's that's an excellent <laughs> idea <laughs> no but uh i was just about to also mention like i feel like this would be a great segue into one of the topics that you wanted to talk about peach like I, what we've been doing with our lives this month and also like what we plan on doing with our future in terms of both online and offline oh yeah that was something i said oh, yeah. Um, I, I don't. <laughs> well, considering like we spent like forty minutes talking about Minecraft Earth, I think it's fair to, to briefly kind of. I mean, we somehow segued onto all this, but mm-hmm. I think definitely you know looking into the future, considering it's been like a weird kind of past few months for for all of us, including <clears throat> I think fair enough to say Duo and Kaney, it's been a weird month for all of us, um, or past yeah. few months for that matter in terms of growth and where we are as people. Um, I, I definitely personally had have had some real um, difficult things happen, especially over the holidays, the past like over July that kind of threw me off and just left a lot of uncertainty in my life. Um, but going forward from that, um, other than trying to constantly fix it and make things worse, um, I'm definitely trying to, I guess, push myself more into you know, my schoolwork and in that sense also with like, obviously I don't know if you've really noticed or not, but um, trying to really bring myself back into this whole community aspect with both existence and game mode four. And I think I'm doing a pretty good job of that, especially kind of with game mode four. Cause I accidentally always separate myself from that. Whenever I get kind of swamped and overloaded, it kind of seems to get put into the shadows accidentally. And I think recently I, I've done a pretty good, decent job at kind of re-establishing myself as a member of that community and the same goes with the existence community because i kind of left things kind of in you all your hands for a little while but i think going forward yeah. I've, I've definitely just trying to kind of keep a more line of sight and focus on on things more so that's fair like my my year so far has been like kind of a little bit of a blur it's like um there's like i constantly think about doing more work and it's like um i'm just trying to get to the end result at this point um and it, it it's it's a little bit crazy but it's what it's kind of what i'm willing to do at this point and we all know that you're willing to do like most crazy things anyway half the time whether I follow through or not, well, <laughs> that's another story. So what you're saying is we're going to be seeing content from a certain server on your channel? Uh, yeah, I, I don't do that anymore. Remember okay. when you left Existence to join Waystone to leave Waystone and come back to Existence? <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, okay. It, I it actually uh, revisited that moment uh, earlier today. So. <laughs> It's like the definition of, I think, last... Was it... No. What year was it? Was it last year or the year before? I think it was... I left existence for good in twenty December 2017. Okay, so during... I think that was like the definition of 2017 duo. 
you think you can define yeah. 2017 duo by leaving existence joining waystone leaving waystone and joining existence again <laughs> pretty oh, much gosh um i am very hungry and tired and, and make strong this is a completely hungry. irrelevant sentence and i'm not sure why i'm saying it so well, it's duly noted i think yep so i guess <laughs> I'll, I'll just briefly touch on what i've been up to and what i'm mm. planning on doing uh so i've been busy dealing with in real life stuff that's sort of serious matters mm. um that being said i've been working off camera on the existence of some peach just gathering uh materials and resources all that fun stuff the grindy work yep uh but I feel almost well enough to where I'm mentally ready to get back into creating content. It's just like, you know, as we all do, some some days are better than others and some days are just blah. Mm. But uh, I'm hoping to make my comeback, if we want to call it that, by like August-ish. And with that being said, um, I have a few different charity live streams that i'm working on uh one of which is to raise money for uh the saint jude cancer research foundation i'm not sure if that's the proper name or whatever um but that's something i really want to do is just raise some money for that another thing is with my extra life campaign uh, i want to do one another one of those charity live streams mm -hmm. and then going into the autumn and then early winter like december time i want to do a few more like different charities because that's one thing also that's one reason why i do this whole youtube gig is because i want to try and like use it as a way to make a difference in the world uh call me a good poika why don't you um just trying to be helpful to other people reference. i too am extraordinarily humble <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'd, I'd make sure that you actually like fully know the name because it's like oh yeah i'm not sure if that's the real name just don't accidentally donate to the westboro baptist church please <laughs> oh god no oh uh, but no so that's those are like my plans and everything and especially by uh december i have a few things that i want to do oh i have some things i had to get done by december mm. uh because as some people know, I guess, since I've mentioned it, uh, yeah. good old Nilo is going international at the end of this year. And then next year, I'm going to be going to a few different places in Europe to meet up with some YouTuber friends. So we're going to be playing Pokemon Go. Um, okay, did you want to mention point. your big Every trip or is that for another podcast, perhaps? The one in December? I think so. Yeah, then yeah, it's the big trip. Oh, we can save that for another podcast okay, good idea i think that's exciting because that's and on that note um i briefly should just mention um good old k-saws acg a thousand and delta dragon are currently all meeting up in canada oh so that's pretty Ooh. exciting because sorry about that thing <laughs> i think it's always awesome um i mean obviously they're all friends but just having you know those existence members past existence members all meeting up is yeah. i think extraordinarily humbling real quick <laughs> <laughs> real quick um, was this like a for god's sake was this one of those like hey we've known each other for a while online let's meet up finally or was it yeah, just I like think so oh, um because i think they've gone to some convention or something i'm not entirely sure ah, um okay. but like i know in the past we've had um we've had <clears throat> noah tc and dragon meet up before uh we had eli and mm -hmm. miles meet up in hawaii We've had, um, <coughs> obviously, even though you've met Miles before, and I think, have you met Nina? I have. Did you meet Nina I, I, at Mindfear? I did. Well, yeah. I mean, we saw each other and we knew of each other. I saw, but I met, uh, because we used to do the whole UHC back in the day and everything. Mm. Uh, that's how we first met. Um, I encountered Nina. I encountered uh, the, the stand. Sounds like she's stand. like a, some sort of predator. <laughs> I encountered the Nina. <laughs> <laughs> uh, stands or stands, man. Um, I want to say sure Ike. They're all oh, these are all Lionheart of... people. Yeah, because um... at first, 
at first a few of those were at mine for chicago last year and then they were like we're going to mine for seattle meet up and i'm like mm. oh okay well i'll keep an eye yeah, out but I, I recently saw like nina posted a, one of their um their trip videos they had i think the game night with miles or something um and now obviously Ooh. we've got like kyle and acg and, and dragon all meeting up and i think that's just so awesome um from like my perspective you know i, I never expected and I, i'm not taking like ownership boards oh it's all because of me i don't please don't say that i don't like that but just having you know seeing this community grow in that sense that people now are like you know know each other kind of real life aspects like i've seen that happen with game mode 4 as well they've done a few game mode 4 like meetups in like brussels and stuff which is a bit far for me Mm. (laughs) but um a bit you provided a helping hand in making friendships develop well, even not even mm-hmm. that, like just seeing people come together like this, I think is such a cool thing coming from a game like this. Um, I will say this. I think it's a beautiful thing how friendships can develop from, you know, something as small as Minecraft, well, but uh, also like possible relationships and even marriages uh, real quick. Uh, I got a shout out. Gosh, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Have you got like motives? Miller, uh, is there something we should know here? <laughs> Oh, I was just going to say, I guess, shout out to uh, DV crew members, uh, Core Zeon and Paige of Masis. They met through Minecraft. Paige, Paige lived in Eng- lives in England. Core mm. lived here in the States. They did the whole online long distance relationship. Wow, with the things you say in 2019. <laughs> Anyways, um, and eventually they started seeing each other, like visiting each other's places and meeting people halfway, whatever. Uh, and now they're married. Soon in- yeah. Well, yeah, like, the, the whole the whole meeting people thing, like it, it's a bit difficult when the nearest person is like four hundred kilometers away. And oh yeah, but I mean, I know New Patrick Zealand. has it way worse, so I shouldn't. Even <laughs> the closest person I have is pineapple. <laughs> God forbid. Ooh, Adelaide is. Hello, pineapple. <laughs> if you're watching this, <laughs> we've um, to tuned in. I I would love to meet pineapple, and it almost happened once when we were at the airport. Auckland Airport, I think it was in New Zealand. I think half an hour apart from each other. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. If, if anybody was... ever happens to travel over Schiphol Airport in Amsterdam, just <laughs> let me know because I'm like a few hours away and I can get that for free because of my student uh, public well, transit like, card. I, I mean, I did let you know when I was in the Netherlands, but yes. then you were like you were somewhere else in the Netherlands. So. That's right. I remember that. Yeah. Sometimes I have to go. To places <laughs> <laughs> but like on the note of you know meeting people through all this like me and Kaney met many 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 years ago long before existence and um oh, with that, Kaney's scary. crystal quest <laughs> I, I don't even know what year that was Kaney 2013 was the was first it? update of crystal quest it was oh 2013 or We've 2012 for... was the first versions hang on i i, I, I wanna i'm gonna go to the bucket page <laughs> The Just in, to, to put it in perspective, I was 14 years old at that time. Oh my gosh. I was, oh, actually, I know exactly I, where I to just, look. That's when they okay. sung the Jaffa Cake song, 2013. <laughs> no, the first version was on November 28, 2013. And Almost at six some years point, back. I'm going to go, here we go. Um, Twitter DMs is a good place to go. <laughs> oh, yeah, what? I think it was... Can um, we have DMs? A, a little bit. Thing. Oh, oh here we yes, go. we did. Okay, I think it must have been. I want to think it was about 2014, because in October 2015, you were messaging me about the game mode for UHC. Remember that? Oh <laughs> yes, that was a, that was a success. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think we've known each other though. for like five years, Kaney. Five or Can six. Oh well, my yeah, we we like we encountered each other a bit earlier. Mm. But oh my known goodness. since since the Crystal Quest. Uh, yeah. Gosh, so. but yeah, um, and the game mode for wiki. <laughs> the game mode for wiki. Your friendship lasted as long as the blip. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank what? you, thank you, duo, with your MCU references. <laughs> I too am extraordinarily humble. <laughs> you understood that reference. <laughs> oh dear. He, has, oh he is gosh. the meme. The meme dream. Come on. You um, say that like he shouldn't have. I think, like you were hoping he wouldn't. Continuing on, you know, um, 
I'm going to put words in people's mouth here, but Kaney, I know that you've been talking to me a lot about kind of with your future stuff in terms of Crystal Quest, which ironically we're already talking about, um, in terms of getting that all polished up. And um, I think we definitely got to have like a, I think we should do either a patron or a reunion like games night of Crystal Quest. Oh, that would be so great. Mm. Um, so I've, I've actually um, fixed the language files, so I've completely translated it to Dutch, and it's like terrible, <laughs> and I love it. But <laughs> oh gosh, um, even that load a foreign language version if you want mm. to. I'm curious, Sam and or Braden, did you guys, you know, have any kind of aspirations or or things kind of that you're looking at for the future? Um, Sand, Sandman okay. apparently wants to win. Wants to win. Wants to what? Wants to win, win, it win. win in reference to you being competitive. Win, win. W h e n. I don't understand the question. <laughs> People made fun of me for saying chest. Chest chops. Chest pigs. Pigs. Is that through the plasma in front of you or are the eggs? I think they're eggs. <laughs> it's just funny because I've had a New Zealand, New Zealand, New Zealander as a coach for some mm-hmm. random sport event I had or sporting thing I did. Mm. So it, well, it talks exactly like you. That's so great. <laughs> um. Anyway, Sandman. Yeah. <laughs> what's up? What What's on your your plate? What are you What are you looking at for for the future of of anything? Spaghetti. Hmm. Um. Right now, I'm just kind of. You know, I'm not really focusing on anything. Really, just kind of doing what I'm doing. Mm, just, just taking life uh, as it happens. Yeah, I'm, I'm focusing on getting better here at uh, doing the whole YouTube thing um, and try growing the channel, of course. But real life stuff, just gonna be working on my house and, you know, looking towards the future. I guess just, yeah. One I, re- I really don't know. I really don't have any immediate plans for the future that I can think of or any goals yeah. or anything. And that's fair. How about you, Brayden? Anything on your plate other than spaghetti? Um, mm. no. I don't really have any plans for anything right now. Yeah. I guess I've, just like the Sandman growing my channel. Yeah. I, and like that's kind of how I've been doing things, just taking kind of things just as they happen and kind of just working i've got some real life stuff that i'm kind of like it's the first time i've because obviously i've got like next year to think about and also i am working on getting a possible internship doing drone work which would be exciting like of all things that would be like perfect but um other than that yeah could drone on about that oh do we get out of here why did i invite you (laughs) (laughs) i will never know oh dear but yeah just taking one taking things step at a time just kind of how we do things on existence anyway, which I guess kind of reflects from from me. Just kind of you know, things get quiet. Will we then just go quiet for a bit and then just as we need to, like at the moment, you know, picking things back up and just kind of going as it goes. And I think that's probably why existence has survived for all this time is just because you know, other than me being compulsive and not letting it die when it should have, <laughs> just kind of. <laughs> you know just taking it for what it is and and going from there kind of like we did with phase two of season two you know season two was basically dead at that point and we said no yeah not dying i mean <laughs> in hindsight your uh authoritarian nature sorry that's a bit of a joke you uh your authoritarian nature right like it, it's what it's what kept existence alive and that credit where credit's due mm. yeah hmm that's a good thing. I, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I, I've had this debate with ACG before, or Kyle, or someone. Things are definitely a lot <laughs> different now than what they were, and, and Kane can probably vouch for that, even though not being an actual member anymore, but, you know, differently compared to <laughs> season one. And, and uh, you know, God forbid yeah, we I mean, mentioned the start of season two again. Um, I mean, you are There's a uh, reason he has the nickname of Dictator. It's... <laughs> oh, things are definitely fine. we love you it's a lot more community driven now than it was 
you know, two and a half years ago. <laughs> Definitely. But um, on that note, I, I, we, we're coming up to a good hour here now on the podcast. It's been a real good chat and I love catching up. Just like having, you know, a real casual approach to podcasts is always a good time catching up with, with everyone. Um, but I think I'd like to, uh, you know, w- run through the, the patrons here now. Just our, our great supporters of kind of um keeping things running with the server and, and with keystone and all that stuff um so we've got sandman thank you sandman as usual uh mundy sugar candy tc Woo! midnight <laughs> delta dragon pineapple acg 1000 casors iGalaxy, atm 2222 lord of the undead i need help <laughs> also known as <laughs> mc zombie slayer uh waffle stick torbray Purple J, oh, Hick and that's Jake, a name I haven't heard in a long time. Diamond Axolotl, and finally, thank you, Duo Gets Wrecked. Thank you all. You yeah. really make everything possible. You really do. Well, I do. It, he just pays everything himself. Give yourself yeah. a pat on the back. And really a good this time. It's just, and I think I having really pat on the back, having and the support from everyone, and not only like just in a, in, a, in a, is the term <laughs> fundamental, like fundamental sense. I don't care. That was it's a terrible, terrible joke. Yep, thank you. Uh, but, um, oh, that was just having joke. like this community <laughs> backing and um, <clears throat> definitely, I, I love having Keystone. As it's, it's gone a bit quiet recently, but I think um, having you know that server to play on with people, and when I streamed on it once when I had decent internet, but now I don't. But I will soon again. <laughs> so being able to get back on there <laughs> At and stream least that on there is internet. Mm, true. I've been cut um, off for three weeks, and that's mm. terrible. Oh it really but, um, is, especially if I've got a beefy computer here upstairs, and I cannot use it because there's no internet connection. Just imagining like a, a really like uh-huh. scraggly, like like malnourished Kami from having no internet, just like <laughs> shuddering. Well, one and a half week of that was on holiday, so it doesn't really oh, count. Yeah. But the other the other weeks was just when I was home. Mm. Mm. Alright. Well, um... Yeah. I think we'll wrap things up here. So thank you, Sugar Caney, Vanilla Raccoon, Brayden, Duo, Sandman, and myself and Pooch Eyes from everyone here in existence. Thank yes, you definitely. all for Thank you so much. Yeah. Bye for bye. listening. Because you're too extraordinarily humble. <laughs> thank you for watching. <laughs> <laughs> we'll catch you all later. Bye. See ya.